Hi, my name is Leila and welcome to Leila Land. Right now I'm standing at one of the most busiest places in Stockholm. Slussan. Slussan is an important place in Stockholm because of the several reasons. One of them is that it connects Gamla Stan with Söderman. Gamla Stan in Swedish it's old town. It connects the old town with the Söderman, the hipster part of Stockholm. The other reason is that Slussen is an important hub for various actors, making it the second busiest place in Stockholm. The underground buses, Santhobanan, cars, boats, cyclists, pedestrians and nowadays even scooter riders are using this place. And yeah, sometimes even preachers. Slussan have been under construction for the past six, seven years and many people in Stockholm have an opinion about it but this vlog is not about people's opinions it's just uh, a vlog about Slussen I just want to show you around how it looks like uh, tell you a little bit about its history because I think it's very uh, unique and uh, interesting history the history of Slussen is rich and each follows the history and development of Stockholm. No doubt, the reconstruction of the Slussen is a big and complex project. The new Slussen is supposed to be an attractive place regardless of the season and weather. The main focus of the new Tslusan is accessibility. It should be accessible for everyone. The very first construction of Tslusan was finished in 1642 and usually it's referred as Queen Christina Slus because she was reigning during that time. However, it turned out quite quickly that this Lucen was too little and its capacity wasn't enough. Therefore, a new Lucen was built in 1755 and it's called Christopher Pulham's Lock. In 1850, Nils Eriksson's Sluss was opened and finally, in 1935, the last Lucen, Carl Johan Lucen, was opened. Every construction of new Slussen was done in order to meet the needs of the people, society and the city. If Slussen of 20th century was built for the cars, the focus of the new Slussen is accessibility for people. and it's such a chaotic place there is a lot that is happening here and what I like most about this place is that Stockholm city is uh, criticizing itself in a very very fun and uh, creative way for example on the wall behind me there are beautiful and very fun banners that I would like to show you Behind me, we see the tunnels where the future bus terminal is gonna be located, and uh, it's, it's a bit hard to imagine that out from here we are gonna have the buses, but soon it's gonna happen. I'm just wondering what how it's gonna be with these stairs that are right here. Now, when we go to the bus terminal where the buses 
are located right now from where the buses are leaving. There are also other fun banners that I would like to show you because they are so epic. To be honest, I don't know who is creating these banners, but I think that this team or these people or that person is very, very creative and uh, is very good at criticizing the organization. I mean, obviously it's criticizing the government of Stockholm. If you are interested to know where I'm standing now, right now I'm standing like here in this area. So now we are going to the buses. Here is one of the first banners that are leading to Fotografiska Museet. And now let me show you other banners. of my dreams and now we are coming to another banner it's actually really pretty here welcome to the center of the cows right here another banner Not so far away from this tunnel that we just passed, uh, Photographic can you see it is right here on this plane, in this direction. And when you are going to Fotografiska, there are also some other banners that are worth reading. all for today thank you very much for watching this video i hope that you like it if you have any uh, questions or if you have any comments please comment them in the description down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video see you next time